Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Google Search Console A Guide to How It Works and What GSC Offers Is Your Website Getting Enough Traffic? Chances are that you could do with more visitors, and your answer is a resounding no. Many website owners and marketers have the same dilemma because they don't take a data-driven approach to traffic management. There is no denying the importance of research and data analytics for website performance, marketing success, and better profitability. So it comes as a surprise that 74% of marketers and website owners can't measure or report how their marketing efforts impact a business. As a result, this causes loss of customers and a decrease in traffic, which ultimately lowers ROI and leaves unfinished KPIs. On the other hand, only 22% of marketers in a survey divulged that quality data empowers them to analyze the website's performance on the SERPs increase ROI, and significantly improve their traffic. This clearly emphasizes the need for tracking and analyzing. How your website performs in the SERPs the kind of customer experience it provides the ROI, it offers, what might be wrong with your site and how to fix it. The most important thing for a business is a website, as it solidifies its digital presence and gives prospective buyers a chance to learn more about its offerings. And to track all these things, Google offers the Search Console, which is a powerhouse of data that lets you track, analyze, maintain, and fix your website in many ways. What is Google Search Console? Google Search Console, aka Google Webmaster Tools, is a free toolkit by Google for website owners and digital marketers. It is a search engine-focused tool and offers all the insights and resources to perform the best in search results and online. This tool helps businesses and marketers know how their website performs on their search engine and how visitors perceive it. The data retrieved help you understand how Google search engine sees your website and how you can make it credible to gain authority in the search results. Properly using the tool helps website owners make their website Google-friendly. What makes Google Search Console so efficient? Google is the world's most powerful search engine as it gathers data from global and local users and uses it to your advantage. It also ranked first among the most visited multi-platform web properties in the U.S. It has over 267 million unique visitors, making up 61% of the total market share. All in all, it's the user base that strengthens Google. It can capture and gather data from a million different resources and users. This data is the most powerful and valuable tool for businesses to understand consumer behavior. Use it correctly, and you can improve your marketing and ad strategy for total www domination. But the data you find in Google Search Console is meant to be used to understand your business platform, its strengths, and weaknesses. Also, this information can be combined with other Google tools to render even better reports. Google Search Console offerings for businesses, marketers, and entrepreneurs when it comes to satisfying the Google search engine, you can't find anything better than Google tools. Whether you are an influencer, SMG, global business enterprise, SEO expert, web developer, webmaster, content developer, or marketer, GSC will work for you the same outstanding way. According to Google, Search Console offers reports and tools to help website owner in several ways, which are not limited to but include extracting core web vitals report including LCP, CLS, FID monitoring the website's impressions over time monitoring the average ranking over time identifying your highest traffic pages, identifying your highest center, average center, center over time, identifying the highest and lowest ranking pages on your site. Detecting the fluctuating ranking tracking increasing and decreasing ratio. Categorizing the highest traffic inquiries. Comparing your site's search performance across all devices desktop, mobile, and tablet. Evaluating the website's search performance across different countries. Identifying the indexed and non-indexed pages. Discovering the reasons behind non-indexed pages. Tracking the number of indexed pages and the underlying errors. 
tracking all the backlinks of your website, identifying usability issues on different devices, identifying URLs and websites with the most backlinks, identifying the most used external linking anchor text, identify pages with the most internal links, knowing the number of internal links on your website, finding and fixing accelerated mobile pages AMP errors, understanding how Google views a URL from your website. Now that you know what's on offer with Google Search Console, let's dive deeper. Here is how you can start using it to enhance and optimize your website for better performance. How to add and verify your website in Google Search Console to get started with GSC, you need to add and verify your website to the tool. It will tell Google that you are the original owner, admin, or authorized user of the website. Once your site is added to the tool and verified, the GSC will provide you with an incredibly in-depth website performance report for the entered URL. This step ensures the information doesn't land in the wrong hands. Here is how you add your site to GSC 1. Open Google Search Console 2. Log into your GSC account 3. Find a red box on the page that says Add Property. 4. Enter your website URL in the query box beside it, and click on Add Property. An HTML file upload the verification HTML file to some specific location on your website domain name provider sign in to your domain name provider and then open GSC to verify your site by adding a DNS TXT or CNAME record. An HTML tag add a meta tag to the head segment of a specific page's HTML code. Google Analytics tracking code. Copy paste the GA Google Analytics tracking code you use on your side. Google Tag Manager Container Snippet Code. Copy the GTM Google Tag Manager Container Snippet Code linked with your site. Now that your website is verified, here are a few things about using the Google Search Console. All you need to know about GSC users and owners Google Search Console can be used in two ways that are typically two roles granted by the originally verified website owner. The owner The owner is the primary authority with total control over the website's properties in GSC. They can grant user authority to others by adding or removing them or by changing the settings. Once the permission is granted, the users can see and access all the data and tools available on GSC. A verified owner can add a delegated owner and the delegated owner who can see the data, uses the tools, and add users. A user when authorized by the delegated owner, a user can see the data and perform a few tasks with GSC. Users can add another user. However, when users are given full access, they can see most of the data and take additional actions, while restricted users are limited to only a few things. When it comes to your business platform, it can't be shared with unreliable people. Thus, the verified owner must make a mindful decision when making designated owners and users. Full authority for more unreliable people would lead to a disastrous situation for you, risking your entire capital and assets which would be the last thing you would want. Managing your business, you would know who needs more permissions and who needs less. For example, people who need to adjust the setting to tweak the results should be given more authority, while those who need the data but have no concerns with the setting must be given less authority. For example, SEO specialists should get the ownership, but a content strategist shouldn't until he, she manages the SEO furthermore, There's a third role as well an associate this is not a person indeed. Here, the associate refers to the GSC's association with GA Google Analytics. You can link a GA property with GSC to see all the GSC reports without using GSC. In addition, you can also access Google Analytics reports from two of the GSC's sections that are site links and links to your site. The need for sitemaps A sitemap is not essential if the websites are logically structured. The web crawlers usually find what they are looking for one way or another. However, sitemaps make things easier for the crawlers by providing them a simplified guide to find the required information in milliseconds. Search results show up in a matter of seconds, so the crawlers don't have much time to document a website. Chances are they will skip your website if it takes too much time to get to the required results. This is the last thing you would want. Here are a few situations that make it a good idea to have a sitemap on your site 1. Huge websites with more pages hundreds or thousands 2. A website with isolated pages pages with very few inbound links 3. 
new websites that has very few backlinks 4. Websites that use rich media content 5. Websites that show up in Google News once you have built a sitemap on your website, let Google process it. Your sitemap report will appear in Google Search Console's GSC sitemaps report as the process completes. This is where you can see how many times Google read your sitemap when it was read last time and how many pages on the sitemap are indexed. GSC terms to know before getting started before getting started with Google Search Console, there are a few things you need to get familiar with. Google Search Console Query Impression Click Average Position Center Click Through Rate Other Options to Filter Data in Google Search Console by Search Type by Date Range by Queries by Page by Country by Device by Search Appearance Index Coverage Reports Submitted Sitemaps Wrapping Up If You Want to Beat the Competition in SERPs and Enhance the Impact of Your SEO, the Google Search Console might be your most powerful resource. Most businesses invest their time and money in content but they often ignore their strategy and studying the results of their previous plans. Unfortunately, this is where it all goes wrong for them. Google Search Console helps businesses study their earlier efforts and results through one window. This makes it possible for them to create their future strategy and fix broken pathways. This free tool will get provide information related to your website at your fingertips. Whether you are an SEO specialist, a digital marketer, a website owner, or anyone else with a digital presence, it's possible to control how your website performs and make it Google-friendly without missing anything that might help you rank on the SERPs. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.